Okay, Quigley, what's next? Ahem, <clears throat> uh, well, uh, now what if we use H to start the word? Order up letter H, Wenny. Whatever you say, letter H is on the way. Let's watch what happens when Wenny bams them together. Had. Okay, where was I? Oh yes. The word had means you had something, like saying, I had to go home, or, I had a food fight in the cafeteria. Um... Each. What a word. You know, the word each means a part of sentences, like you're saying each contestant or each child or each letter to make words. Oh, you. Beach. What did you? Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite words in my dictionary. Because I know what it means. The word beach means a pebbly or a sandy shore that the ocean or water and the sand are between each other. That's what the kids and characters can play on the beach to play sand castles, beach ball, and mostly importantly, swimming. So that means we're gonna play something on the beach. But this time, the Alfarina. I don't think so. Well, that was a cha 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 conga dance. But anyways, the word Chad means a country from Africa. It's about this flag who has three colors on it. Blue, yellow, and red. Kids, please keep making words. Or else you will get attacked by those words. You think there is a crash about words? Well, guess what? There is another word already. Because the word batch means a German composer that he can make lots of music on his piano to make notes or a music song. Are you ready for round two? All right. Here we go. Oh great. There is something coming to us, because the word chef means a training professional cook and tradesman who is proficient in all aspects of food preparation. So that means he cook anything. He can cook some beef, cabbages, bakas, babas, and more. Head. I told you this game works. Because the word head means the upper part of the human body, or the front, or upper part of the body of an animal, typically separated from the rest of the body by the neck. 
and the containing the brain, mouth, and sense organs. The center of the head is the face, which we already know that word in the 100th episode of Alphabet Arcade Park Insanity. Also, I got an idea, let's play the word combining game. So come on Plusman. Would you look at all of those characters? But of course, we are playing this wonderful word game called the Plus Fall. It means two words will come out from the waterfall, and then it jumps, and then it mixed together to make a bigger word from Plus Man. So that way, we can put many words in the dictionary book to make any stories to read. But let's start playing with it. So come on, Plus Man. Game on. Plus A Plus Ted Makes A Ed Go ahead Well, this word is not really a combining word. Sometimes, it's just an ordinary word. Because the word ahead means when someone is in the lead or someone is very fast from the distance of any location. Plus. Ben. Plus. His head. Makes. Bed head. Now there is another combining word, because the word bedhead means when you sleep in the bed too much, but then when you wake up in the late morning, your hair is a mess. Banana. Back to this one. Plus. Dead. Plus. Ted. Makes. And there it is again. Because the word deadhead means a rock and roll band that he always makes some music a lot in the fall of Halloween. Wait, hold on. Is there another word to make before the combination of this word? Leave this to me! That's not a combining word. But there is another ordinary word we found, because the word ache means another word for pain. It also means whenever anybody is getting tired or hurt. If it does happen, take a nap or take a soft tablet. Sorry I cracked my voice a little bit, but let's continue. Plus! Head. Plus! I Makes! Headache. Give me a break. Because the word headache means when your head is getting tired or hurt. So that means we're gonna take a break from this game is because we got a headache. Is Plusman got a headache as well? Ow! My head! Plus. Plus. Head. Makes. E. Beach head. Looks like there is gonna be a building word uphill battle today. Because the word beachhead means a temporary line created when a military unit reaches a landing beach by sea and begins to defend the area. 
as other reinforcements arrive, so that also means they are having a war at the beach. Now watch this, kids. That's a great word. Because the word heavy means a genus of plants native to New Zealand, so that way you can find those purple heavies in New Zealand and Australia. Plus. Seize. Plus. I. Makes. That looks ugly to this word. Why? Because the word face ache means when your face looks really ugly, it makes the screen cracked in ice pieces. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't know how to do it. Oh, oh maybe it's this button. <laughs> Egghead. I'm back for more words. Because the word egghead means when your head is shaped like an egg. You know, like Dr. Eggman. Another word is here. The word hedge means a line of closely spaced shrubs and sometimes trees planted and trained to form a barrier or to mark the boundary of an area, such as between neighboring properties. HD. HD. Oh, wow. Well. Another word with no vowels, this is great. But of course, the word HD means a high definition that you can see clearly see it when you are watching a video or a movie. Well kids, sometimes there is words, sometimes there isn't. But this time, there is. The word chaff means a dry scaly protective casing of the seeds of cereal grains or similar fine, dry, scaly plant material. It also means another type of wheat on the farm. Disaster! E. G. D. It looks like they are more words to be found again, because the word dig means a historic town and municipality in Paratpur district in the state of Rajasthan, India.
So this is the story when the letters V, D, E, and G are looking for A, C, F, and H, because they are lost at the Chaff Wheat Farm. Let me guess, if there is a ding on me, another word is here of course, so that's why, the word chach, means another name for buttermilk to drink. I don't know this word when I say chach, or chalk, whatever that is. Head. Plus. Hey. Makes. Headage. And there we go, another combining word is created, because the word headage means when your head is getting old, or the number of stock animals on the farm. Sorry we are all out of words, because I think that's all of the words if we collect eight letters. <laughs> that's a different voice. All our workers drink This a little bit worse shape. Ba. Well, you see, kids, the word ba means the sound of a sheep makes. Oh, and by the way, kids, the word Ada means a Swedish pop group formed in Stockholm in 1972. They are one of the most popular and successful musical groups of all time, and they became one of the best selling music acts in the history of popular music. Baba. Another word already. Man, many words are everywhere. Well, moving on, the word baba is an Italian food recipe that is a brown food that shape like a chicken leg. Dabba. Death. 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 What a word. You know. The word dabda means a masala box is a popular slice storage container widely used in Indian kitchens. A typical masala dabi has a number of small cups, often seven, placed inside a round or a square box. <laughs> That's a cool word. You know, the word dab means a lizard who lives in the desert alone when is hiding in the sand. <laughs> Hag. 
Oh, I don't know if this is a spooky word. Well, never mind. The word hag means an wizened old woman or a kind of fairy or goddess having an appearance of such a woman. Often found in folklore and children's tales such as Hansel and Gretel. So this word is not scary because this word is a part of children's fairy tales. <laughs> I can't stand it. You get over here. F H A Oh boy. This word is about a company. The word FHA means Federal Housing Administration, that many people can call the company to fix any houses. It was found on 1934. And on the 1960s, let's watch the commercials about the FHA, which is right now. Look at this old house. If this old house could talk, I wonder what it would say. Uh, why don't you get an FHA home improvement loan and fix me up? You know, I never thought of that. For a free copy of the booklet, Fixing Up Your Home, write to HUD, Washington, D.C., 20410, or see your local FHA-approved lender. That sounds like good advice. Straight from the house's mouth. You wouldn't think I fixed this place up all by myself. I laid the bricks. I did the carpentry. I did all the wiring myself. I even did the plumbing. You know, when I started this, I didn't think I'd ever be able to finish it. I think I just finished it. For a free copy of the booklet, Fixing Up Your Home, write to HUD, Washington, D.C., 20410, or see your local FHA-approved lender. Financing a new home can be a nightmare. <laughs> or it can be a joy. Find out about an FHA-insured home mortgage. Write for a free consumer bulletin to FHA, Home Financing, Department of Housing and Urban Development, Washington, D.C., and banish the nightmare. <laughs> back. Get back. I hate these visual demonstrations. Four, seven, nine, this man is confused about home financing. If this is your problem, find out about an FHA-insured home mortgage. Write for a free consumer bulletin to FHA, Home Financing, Department of Housing and Urban Development, Washington, D.C. You'll thank us. Thank you very much! Sir, you need an FHA-insured home improvement loan. No, oh, I can repair this place myself. For a free consumer bulletin, write to FHA, Home Improvement, Department of Housing and Urban Development, Washington, D.C. Maybe I should have done that. Beat. Beat. That's a cool word. The word bead means an English monk at the Monastery of St. Peter and its companion Monastery of St. Paul in the Kingdom of Northumbria. Of the Angles, he died at 735 AD, which is 1,287 years ago. Finally, I'm done making words. For real this time. Now I will finally do season K. Also, I apologize for being mean to Cole. But anyways. Let's do the next season.